Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing coffee cup class. If you are new to my channel and you are a beginner, now I have my beginner program on my website. I transferred it to a downloadable program. It used to be on a USB that I was shipped out. Now you can download it onto your computer as well. And it is divided in three parts. Each part has five classes in it and one challenge. And you're supposed to repeat this for an entire month or even two months if you want to really get the classes and the moves down and then move on to part two which is new classes and new challenge each week there is a new challenge actually so we have 12 challenges and they pertain to your fitness and to your health and once you're done you will be proficient in how to integrate intervals into your yoga practice and into your fitness routine and you can jump in this type of classes once you're done with the beginner program otherwise for all levels i hope you're a part of my membership if you're not come on to my website alikamenova.com and i have regular classes on there for all levels now for today's class, we're doing a coffee cup class and that's a perfect integration, perfect interval yoga class that allows you to build strength, endurance, flexibility and body awareness and cardiovascular capacity. You don't need to go to run and then to a gym and then this and then it's all integrated into one functional workout that is done in 20 to 40 minutes on most days i have shorter and longer classes but this is the majority of classes and it allows you to stay in shape from home the home practice gives you awareness that you cannot get in a studio where you're expecting an external validation external feedback it all comes down to internal feedback, to learning what the body is telling you. So, with that short intro, let's begin. <laughs> Coming to the front of the mat. With each breath, begin to deepen the breath, feel the strength of your core. Bringing all that prana, intention, awareness, energy, breath here into this general area of the core of your midsection and strengthening it because strength begins in the mind and not in the body. We envision first what we want to manifest. If we're strong, good, envision strength. If you're not strong yet, envision strength there. You can strengthen your core. Now, with a lot of zest and energy, open your toes. Out, 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 out and drop them down and feel the alignment of the feet, roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen to the crown of the head, one elongated beautiful you, standing here at the beginning of this small journey of this class, chin parallel to the floor and feeling your, your stance, powerful, strong, soft, fluid, we want to be strong, but not inflexible. We want to be strong yet fluid. That's true strength. Nice deep inhalations. Let's bring the right hand onto the right hip. You can take little weather stands here and reach five times with your left arm. You can look up and opposite side. Open the arms out and draw circles. I want to bring elements of, you know, the Chinese gymnastics into this class because that's another aspect of me building a full workout with all the aspects of functional exercise, body weight exercise, plyometrics, yoga, stretching. Uh, some form of alternative medicine or Chinese medicine movement. Right from here, soft knees, tap onto your kidneys, no strong healing, just tapping here to invigorate the body, to awaken and heal the kidneys. Kidneys are the seat of all your health. 
This is the warm up. Great. From here, we're just going to open the arms over the chest out, over the chest out, over the chest out, over the head, down, over the head, over the head, over the head. Circular movement in the joints. Let's roll the shoulders back, forward. Figure eights with the hips. All right, with the knees, you can bring your feet closer together. Circles with the knees, reversing the direction. Great, lifting, lifting the left leg and circling the toes. Opposite direction to warm up the ankles. Great, you can give me a little Tai Chi ballet move here. Great, opposite side, toes. Making sure to open the knee out rather than straightening it up. Straightening it up is too much effort on the hip flexor. We never want to strengthen the hip flexor. This is more of the muscular strengthening of the inner thighs. All right, Bali, Bali. Not never, but we don't want to focus on strengthening the hip flexor. It usually leads to imbalances, posture imbalances. All right, cross the hands in front of you and circle, moving the arms up, circle, moving the arms down. Good. You can do this wrong. Just do it however you want to do it. Finding the natural movement in the body that is already impressed into the fabric of your body. Great. Inhale, reaching over the head, soft knees, forward fold. Shake the head, look over to your right and left, soften the eyes and soften the gaze, soften the face muscles. Squat down, as far down as you can, of course, and reach in front of you, straighten the legs, roll up, soft knees, soft bend in the knees, inhale, reaching over the head, chair. Strong core. Exhale, forward fold. Hands on the shin bones. Straight back, look ahead of you. One more forward fold over your bent knees, slightly bent knees. And here, give me a vacuum, stomach vacuum. So empty the belly and hollow it. Do you feel how magically amazing this is for your spine. This totally lengthens the entire back and the spine. Great hands on the shin bones. With that strong belly, look ahead of you. Step back, plank, straight, uh, open. <laughs> Widen the fingers. Lower down, Chaturanga, upward dog, pressing all five toes down, which aligns the pelvis. Back to Chaturanga, exhale, down dog. Five nice breaths here. Inhale the right leg, bending the knee and lift it here. Great, from here, knee to nose, 
Now coming to a plan with the need to know good the bedroom high lunch. One kick forward with the left leg, just one. Back to high lunge. Drop the knee down, reach up and back. Exhale, left hand on the floor, spin the right arm up, twist. Side plank. Lift the right leg up, engaging the hips. One legged plank. One legged chaturanga with a lift of that right leg. Up dog, release the leg. And chaturanga. Down dog. Great. From here. Nice deep breaths. Take the left leg up. Bend the knee, open it. Great, knee to nose. Shift into plank. Step it through. Come up, high lunge. One kick. Drop it down, open here. Exhale, right hand on the floor. Twist. Transfer into side plank, hold that leg in the air. Try to stack your hips. One legged plank. Chaturanga, up dog, and back to down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge, lower the knee down, one, two, three, four, five, hands in prayer, twist, hands on the ground, knee to nose, in plank, and back, one leg down, dog, step it down. Take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge. Five times, lowering the knee, one, two, three, engaging the glutes on the opposite side. Hands in prayer, twist. Release, squeeze your knee to your nose and back. Plank, chaturanga, up dog, back to chaturanga, down dog, take the right leg up, step it through, come up, high lunge. And we're going to kick the back leg five times, one. Two, three, four, five. Hands on the hips, open that left leg out to your side with the right knee bend. Lift it one, two, three, four, five to the side, engaging the glutes. Stepping back in high lunge. Reaching over the head, hands in prayer twist. Hands on the ground. Tuck your knee into your chest. And we're gonna jump 10 times with mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chaturanga. Hug dog. Chaturanga. Breathe it out. Focus on your loud exhalation. Take your left leg up. Knee to nose, hold it. Step it through. High lunge. Five. 
five kickbacks. One, two, three, four, five. Reaching over the head. And now take the leg out. Five kicks to the side. One, two, three, four, five. Step it back. Hands in prayer twist. Lower down, bring your knee in to your forehead, tuck knee, let's do 10 mountain climbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hold here, plank. Step your right foot through, come up, hands in prayer and really lengthen from the top of the head to your heel, twist. Lower down, step the left leg through, lengthen, twist, lower down, step it through. Change. And back to plank. Here we're going to jump the feet outside the mat. One, two, three. Back into plank, jump the feet behind the wrists. You can sit back in a low squat. Power through the body and really focus on the curve, natural curve of the back. One, two, three. Or you can go thighs parallel to the floor. One, two, three. Whichever one you choose. From here, Lower the hands down, <clears throat> back to plank, jump it out, push up, and one, two, three, jumping outside with the mat, jumps, come back, squat, one, two, three, back to plank, jump it out, push up, one, two, three, jump the feet in. One, you're doing only three at a time, so really do them nicely. That's the benefit of this. We're doing a few reps, but really well done. Back, push up. Same with the push ups. One, two, three. All right, now we'll throw in something else. Four mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. Jump in. One, Two, three, back out, push up. One, two, three, mountain climbers. One, four. One, two, three, and jump it back, push up. One, two, three, mountain climbers. One, two, four, squat, last squat. One, two, three, and last push up. And that's it. Plank, drop the knees on the ground. Bring the right shoulder down. Breathe as if you have not been jumping. Opposite side. Coming back up, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, warrior one. Holding warrior one here. Step it out, straighten the legs, go back into warrior two. Now the hips are facing out. Finding the alignment for your pelvis. Mm -hmm. 
Let's reach up and over. Side angle. Reaching over the head. Come back up with a strong core. And we're going to get a little mudra. Tip of the index to tip of the thumb. And reach here. Moving. Moving outside of the square yoga lines. Finding little spots. wider warrior two reaching back in a nice extension here back to warrior two side angle Strong core coming back up. All right, Madra. Do whatever your shoulders tell you to do here. Not just the shoulders, just the lines of movement that are in your body. You may need to shake. You may need to wave, like move. You may need to just dance. You may need to get into your obliques. Great. Lower down, plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Although it's super hot here and I'm sweating bullets, I feel that my breath is better here because I'm literally, literally living in, in the woods. <laughs> and the air quality is probably better for, uh, for deep breathing. From here, step your feet up on the outside of your mat. Let's say the left side. And we're going to bend the knees and jump them over 10 times. One, two, the feet over, three, kind of with a donkey kick. You're bringing your heels to your booty. 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 And start plank. From here, we're gonna walk forward in plank, walk back in plank, jump to the front in squat, jump back in squat, jump forward in squat, and jump back, donkey kicks. One, two, three, four, five, Squat, 
low squat. Let me start from the top. One, two, three back. One, two, three, forward. Do you feel this? Because I do. All right. Donkey kicks or booty kicks? Let's call them booty kicks. One, two, about 
certain things disconnects you from feeling them and it obligates you to do things by the book it's a um, it's a little bit of both I think we have to keep our knowledge expanding and learning expanding but also knowing from within intuiting feeling awareness Shall we lower down? Those of you that can lower down, join me, otherwise stay in the previous stage. We are stretching here the hip flexors and the quadriceps. You can tap them lightly.
knee plie and toes, heels, toes. Step it in into wide squat and just lift a few times, really squeezing or flexing the hips from here with a circle lower down and glide back into plow. Surrendering to the beauty and the challenges of life. Allowing for everything to flow with no obstruction. As your breath falls now, deep and easy. Without wishing it for the breath to be deeper or easier or smoother, just accepting the beauty of it as is, as it is now, quieting down, surrendering, fully aware of the present moment. Namaste.